All right. Hey guys, it is uh, Friday night. We're gonna play some survival night. Um, getting on a little bit later. We're in Daisy. I've been bombing around, just putting fires on and chopping wood. So we're just gonna get started. And I think UPM's coming soon. So we'll see when he joins us, and we'll go do some. Uh, we'll grab some airdrops and check out some places and that. But uh, I want to get on here, so we'll do a few things before he gets here. Cook some food, maybe. Go go uh, chop some more wood. I got a well kit I got to put in too. So. We are on Nama Namalsk. <laughs> I can never say the name right, so if somebody knows how to say it properly, let me know sometime. But I think it's Namalsk. And it's Happy Friday the 13th. It's almost the 14th. Uh, let's test the sound real quick. Let's test check, the check. Oh, we're good. Real yeah. quick. And let's get into the game. Main gameplay. Where are you, Dizzy? There we go in the cabin. Nice and cozy warm. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. Apparently there's a uh, solar eclipse tomorrow. That'd be kind of neat. All right, we're in the house. Oh, I gotta turn that music off. Hold on. Stop. Where to go? There we go. Okay. All right, we got the cabin built. I think last time Turbo Girl played with us for a bit. Uh, cooks. We caught some food. It's in the it's in the fridge. What do we got left for food in here? I should cook some more up maybe. Uh, we get some dried meat. I got one dried meat on me. I think. <laughs> Sorted out the, the clips. I got a lot of clips. I don't know what kind of ammo we got. I have to see what works and what. Uh, what's that one used? Let's get some ammo in this one before we go out. Any more 556 five, opened up here. There we go. Combine. Wow, how many bolts does this thing take? Oh, it's a 40 meg. Okay, cool. Hopefully that fits something I have. Send him a quick message, let him know. <laughs> and out into the wilderness we'll go and check some stuff out here. Full health. Oh, open the door. Airdrop coming in, nice. Near Norsk, where is that on the map? Mm. Oh, right near us, oh my goodness. Airdrop, pretty close. I have to wait till it comes down, then maybe we'll go We'll go try to get it. That's gonna be over that way somewhere. There's the frigid pool. Gotta go to the um, place and get a generator. Um, it's called spark plug later <laughs> so we get our lights and uh, and some of our, our internal stuff back on hey turbo girl welcome just bombing around gotta figure out what I'm gonna do I'm just uh, waiting for UPM to come on or anybody else that wants to play um, I should go chop some wood. I don't think we have enough wood for the fire. The fire was going out all the time earlier. What are you doing tonight, Turbo Girl? Are you playing some battle, Battlefield 5? I heard there was an event on Battlefield uh, 2042 going on too. Yeah! Nice. I have yet to go back to, to 2042 since I did the beta a long time ago. Uh, I heard it's better now, but I don't know. I saw that uh, I saw Leem was playing some of the. Uh, I guess it's a free preview weekend for Modern Warfare 3. 
I don't know if that's just for... It said open beta, but I don't know if that's just for people that have pre-purchased. Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, missed the tree completely. I don't know if I'll be licking any batteries tonight, but we'll see. If anybody didn't see that, check out the YouTube channel. There's a, uh, a short <laughs> that I played last week with Turbo Girl. And unknown to myself, I had a battery in my hand. Well, I had a, I knew I had the battery in my hands, but I ended up licking the battery. And uh, it made my guy black out. Okay, we'll drop off the wood. Maybe in the safe? Let's see if there's room in the safe. <laughs> Should build another structure, but I don't know if I'm going to build that. Um, I think it needs... Oh, there's my Sandshrew card. I forgot I had that card. I don't know if I'll build that now. I'm not sure exactly how to build, other than getting the, uh, the plans. Put this in the fireplace. Crouch down. Fireplace really uses this stuff up quickly. I bet I don't have any bark left either. Some bark so we can light that fire up keep it going um this fire went out i don't know why i think it's because it was snowing earlier there's still wood in there we just need some bark Front three this tree's been great for bark Hey, good games with Tom. Get your candy pull. 12,101. 12, I don't think Turbo Girl grabbed her candy yet tonight. She had a good pull last night. I think it was 20, 21,000, something like that. Welcome, Tom. How's it going? Oh, there's her. Oh, 22,749. Nice pull. Still got to figure out how to get some uh, sound alerts going with that. I play around with it a bit. <laughs> we back. Woo! <laughs> Good job, Turbo Girl. <laughs> playing the. Oh, are you playing the Modern Warfare 3 beta? Nice. I heard you grabbed. Uh, did you say you grabbed Daisy? Look at all the fun you're missing. You get to build fires to stay warm. I was going to, yes. Oh, okay. I would say wait till it goes on sale. Because um, I, I think I got it. Did I buy... I bought the base Daisy when it was on sale, and then I bought the Labonia edition when it was on... When it was also on sale, because it was like $30, I think, regular price. Let's get this lit up. You'll probably have more fun with Rust right now just because there's way more survival to this one. You gotta actually find warm clothing, you gotta start fires, you gotta cook food. Um, that type of thing. Let's go into town. And I know that airdrop's coming down eventually. Did it actually come down yet? Let's see. It's gonna be an airdrop in here somewhere. Just don't know how it, we'll have to listen for the plane. What's that blue thing? Oh, it's a water fountain. Also, got to fill up the water bottles. I keep forgetting that every time I go. Uh, I do have a well kit somewhere. Let's put the well kit out if it's here. Is that the well kit? Barrel, furnace. 
There's the battery. Not looking that tonight. Have you uh, gotten far into the in, into the beta there, Tom? Is it any good? I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's good. It's Call of Duty, right? So I know eventually I'm going to have to buy it. <laughs> no batteries? Maybe. Maybe later. We'll see. <laughs> maybe that'll be how we end the stream. Just uh, lick the battery, fade to black. <laughs> Close the tent. Alright, uh, where's a good spot for the well? Maybe here? Probably flat ground. Just mark flat ground over here. Choose placement. Okay, how come I can't place it? I have to put it on water. There's probably no good place to put this. Or maybe I have to maybe I have to dig a hole first. Oh, what's this? Uh, yeah, it's good. They brought back slide canceling and the gameplay is fast again. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> well, they're now officially oh, part of Microsoft as of today. If you guys didn't hear the news, Activision Blizzard King, the uh, thing closed uh, early this afternoon, which is quite exciting because it looks like there's uh, there's talk of bringing back some old franchises. Um, I saw a press release uh, from Activision. They said the Transformers games, people were saying that they lost the code, and they said, we never lost the code, we have it, we just got to get the license, and then we can, uh, we can relaunch it, which would be cool to see a... Um, up uh fixed up version of those uh, War for Cybertron and uh, Fall of Cybertron, and then maybe maybe a third, a true third game, which would be awesome. I know I'd be playing it. Um, what do I have to do for the well? A well construction kit. Place on ground to begin construction. You'll need a shovel and stones to begin building. Okay. All right. So. Never played them, but I'd, I'd be down to try them. Yeah, they're the ones that I streamed. So the Fall for Tri Cybertron and uh, War for Cybertron, the first two that I, I think it was the first two Transformers that I streamed. Those are so good. They um, they have a lot of callbacks to like Generation One, the early early Transformers cartoons. Um, oh oh, I hear that storm thing coming. Do I still have a shovel, or did I lose my shovel? I think I lost my shovel. I don't like how the door opens. Is there a shovel in here? Yeah, there's the shovel. Don't think I still have a sledgehammer or a pickaxe, so we may have to go get a pickaxe. This is probably a good spot here, so let's try to use the shovel. Choose placement. That's all that does. Let's see if we put the well kit here now. Uh, it still won't allow me to place it. Choose placement. I don't know why. It should fit on. I don't know why. I don't know why I would need the. Let's look it up, shall we? How to use well kit in Daisy. <laughs> not sure which mod it's part of. That's not what I want. Well kit Daisy stream. Mortar bags, two per level. You dig with the shovel. Eight large shovel, eight large stones as well. I have, I have all the item slots full apart from. Yeah, but I can't even place the thing. How do I place it? We can build a water pump for the house. We don't need to have um, the well, but the well would be cool. Uh, 
how to build a wall kit. Last item I need for this well. Maybe I have to put. Maybe I have to combine the stones with this, and then it, it'll build it. I don't know. Anyways, we need to get a pickaxe. So we're gonna put the the well kit back in the cabinet over here. the cabinet. Head for the car. UPM, hopefully he's coming on soon. We can go shoot some zombies, get some airdrops. The car's that way, right? This might be a mistake going out here when I hear that storm coming. Uh, Tom, does the um, w, um, Modern Warfare 3, does it pick up where the other one left off, or does it uh, kind of skip ahead a bit? Ooh, what's, ooh, what's that? Ooh, fireworks launcher? Yes, please. I didn't know there's fireworks in this game. And a bandana. Car on the road and head for the. Where's my car? There it is. I know you mentioned my name, but there was lots of explosions in the game. Um, is it, it? Does it pick up right after um, the other game, or does it uh, jump ahead a bit in time? The Modern Warfare Three. Or are you even able to play the the campaign right now? Or is it just the the um, multiplayer? I have no idea. I never, I never play the campaigns, and the beta is only multiplayer. Oh, you should for sure play the campaigns. If you've got, um, if you've got Modern Warfare 2, play the campaign. It's, it's outstanding. It's a great, uh, great story and everything else. It's really good. I mean, the multiplayer is awesome too, but definitely play the campaigns. Go back and play it. It's not. I don't think it's super. I can't remember if it's a super long campaign, but it's fun. It was fun. I had a lot of fun with it. the car is not too loud. Ooh. Oh, we're going to flip this thing. I know we up there. It always flips. Every time I drive, it flips because of the stupid houses coming in. And these bumps! Ooh. Uh, what's he saying there? Last campaign I played. Oh, good, good gracious. That's a tree. That's another tree. That's a guardrail. Damn it. I'll read your message there in a second, Tom, once I get back on the road. Sometimes it's easier to see where you're going from this view, but it's a, it's a louder view, although I could put my earplugs in, I guess. There. Was the original Modern Warfare 2 back when it was released, however long ago that was, 10 years ago? Yeah, it was probably 10 years ago. Was that the one that you uh, you went to a certain uh, blue store with a, uh, a yellow tag on its sign and uh, drove around the parking lot with uh, the uh, version of the game that you already purchased at the at the red store? <laughs> whoa, whoa, this car going everywhere. <laughs> Bumpy road. I just remember when I worked with you, you came into the store and said, yeah, I drove around. Uh, I may or may not have. Yes, I, I think you did. I do uh, recall you uh, regaling us with that, <laughs> that story. <laughs> it's a great story. 
And she went and showed everybody, hey, look what I got. They're all, all standing in line in the dark waiting for it. And you already had it. All right, I need to hear the car. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the airdrop coming over. Is that the one going to... Yeah, there's the plane way up there, just a shadow of it. Good perks working at the red store back then. Yeah, yeah, we're... Uh, it looks like we're gonna be selling Nintendo games. Uh, we got the empty boxes in yesterday. But it's not the same. It's not the same when we had the whole aisle of stuff. Oh, that's trailer. Yeah, I know where that is. Uh, check the map real quick here. Where are we? Coming around the bend there. Okay. I will say, though, that the store has uh, 40 60 cards now, which is kind of cool. Man, this snow, like earlier when I was just bombing around before I started streaming, there was snow. There was this much snow snowing at the house. And it sucks because it doesn't look like you're getting wet, but you're getting your uh, equipment and everything's getting soaked. Don't have a console anymore. I just buy all my games online. Uh, if PC still had boxes, I'd buy those. Yeah, you can still find some boxes some places, but it's just easier to do it digitally when it comes to PC games on Steam or on... Uh, uh, on Game Pass. Uh, I can't wait to see the catalog that's going to hit Game Pass. Especially if they start remastering some stuff because they've got, they now own like, they own the Spyro uh, games, they've got Crash Bandicoot, they've got um, all the all the Blizzard games, they've got all the, all the like, even old IPs from Activision that you haven't seen in like 20 years. Like it, oh wow, I'm going into that storm. Hope this is just a regular storm. Hits that boom, I'm gonna stop and park. Doesn't seem to be doing the boom yet, so that must be a regular storm. <laughs> Last PC box game I bought, I think, was Rift back. Missed box PC game. Oh, huge lag spike. Oh, it is that thing. Okay, we're gonna pull over here. Oh, it's that big house coming in. Okay, so we're just gonna shut the engine off and sit here in the in the, in the storm and pass out. Last one for me was Guild Wars 2. Oh, uh, too many refs. Hey, your your color of your name is the same as Tom, so I thought it was, thought it was Tom talking. The last uh, last box game I bought was probably Elder Scrolls Legends. No, Elder Scrolls Online, I mean, because we had it at the store. But I did get, uh, I got Guild Wars 2 also, boxed. Um, the last box game I received was um, Modern Warf, I think, no, it was um, Call of Duty World War 2, which I got only a couple years ago, but I got it through Intel. They sent me, they sent me the box, but in the box all there was was a paper disc with the code on it. Uh, oh, you didn't get Guild Wars 2 physically? I have I have a physical copy of Guild Wars 2. Somewhere around here. I don't know where it's at. But... And then I got a physical copy. I got a box for um, Destiny. Destiny 2 as well. And again, I think it only had the game code in it. Which, which kind of sucked. It would have been nice to get a disc. Oop, I just shut the car off. Great. Start the car. Let's get back on the road. Those storms are fun, aren't they? Oh man, look at this house. This house always like lags me out. You got greenhouses on the roof. This thing's awesome. 
I have the physical collector's edition. Yeah, I know you have that one. Can you spend like $120 on that? Still use the mouse pad. Uh, yeah, I hate when the DOA box with the... Yeah. There's a Lego racing game for Switch that I wanted to get for my son, and it's digital only, even though they sell it in a box. It's for Switch, yeah. Yeah, that kind of sucks. If you're going to buy it at the store in a box, it should come with the, the cartridge. Especially for the Switch. If not, why not just buy it online? Like, why, why even buy unless you want the Unless you want the box art, I guess if you're collecting box art. It was Rift, so I got my money's worth. Played it in t a ton till 2017. Yeah, I played it a ton, too. I think I might have... Did I buy it physically? I don't remember if I bought Rift physically. I think I bought it online. But but uh, Rifts, you used to you used to buy like all those box sets. You had the uh, didn't you have a collector's edition for um, um, the Old Republic and several different WoWs. <laughs> hmm, a bunch of people just left the server. I wonder why. I did not. I didn't see anything. Oh, did it say that the server was gonna restart? Wait a second. I don't, uh, pack your vehicle. Unpack vehicles will be deleted in one day. If not, your base covered or under a flag. Pause. Break key twice for server information. No, it doesn't say anything about them restarting the server. No, only two physical uh, CEs. I've ever bought were old collector's editions were Rift and, and Cataclysm. Oh, okay. Also got the digital collector's edition for WoW. What does the digital collector's edition for WoW give you? Does that give you like some sort of online um, art book or something? I don't think I've ever bought a collector's edition of anything. I did buy a, uh, a battle chest for uh, Diablo one and Diablo one and two when Diablo two came out. Oh, mount pet uh, level boost, other junk, other random junk. Yeah, the physical copy for uh, Elder Scrolls Online gave you, I think, a mount and special armor and and some and some crowns, which I long ago used the crowns. <laughs> I should actually go in and play that game some more. It's really an off-stream game. I, I, can't stream that game because it's just there's too much story and too much running around to really be coherent in it. It's so much snow, I can't see very far ahead of me here. So, depending on who's around tomorrow night, I wouldn't mind doing a, a rust game if people want to play. Um, if not, we can probably jump into Wildlands tomorrow night. Depending who's around. I know uh, Liam has both, You, uh, Tom has both. Oh, we're in that spot where we've got to go uphill. No, don't go downhill. Go up. Go, little car. Much farther is this place? I think we got to go through. We got to go through one town here. Let's see. We are. Oh, we got to go all the way up there. Okay. Uh, I will be running my first ever D D session tomorrow night as DM. Oh, so I will miss out tomorrow. You're gonna run it. Are you uh, doing an online? Are you doing a uh, an in person? What made you want to run a game? Oh, online session. Oh, cool. Hey, I'd be down to play sometime if you want. Are you doing just straight up D and D, or using a? Are you doing a special um, um, setting? Are you doing Forgotten Realms or uh, uh, Ravenloft or something? I know the spell the Spelljammer book. I think just came out. I think Dean was talking, or uh, UPM was talking about that. Holy lag. Uh, 
Uh, I play in two different weekly games now, and I was interested in trying DM. Oh, cool. So did you go, go and buy the DM's guide? Or are you just borrowing... Just borrowed your DM's... Your DM's guide. <laughs> okay, we got to be coming up to this turn soon here. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, right there actually. All right, what do we buy in here, chat? We got to buy a uh, spark plug. And we got to buy a pickaxe. Maybe two pickaxes. Maybe some more w spooled wire too, because I think I'm, I'm out. I think I screwed up the wiring last time. Bad visibility, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, there's where I'm going. So, uh, we're actually going to turn here and go down the tracks. Because the parking area is like right here. Did buy the DM guide. I'm running a 5e game. Okay. Uh, I'm just running a one, one shot right now to see if I like DMing. And if the people I'm playing with like playing as they're all new. But if I run a longer game, I'll definitely, you know, I'd even do a one-shot one time if you want. Not not tomorrow night, though, but uh, <laughs> I'd be down for a one-shot. Um, I used to run, every once in a while, it's been years, though, it's probably been 20 years, but I'd run, uh, I used to run, like, a Palladium game. Uh, I have run a Rifts game. Uh, never got very far, because it was just with some, some friends in the neighborhood back in the day. Um, and... I don't know. I don't know if anybody liked how I how I did it. Um, there was a lot of prep work to it, but those games don't really have modules, so you got to run out. You got to run something out of the book if there is something in the book, um, which then everybody can read, so they already know how the, how the thing's going to go. Um, or you create you create a, a setting to go to, and then you got to make random encounters and you got to make maps and everything else, which is fine if you have the time to do it. And you want to do that. For a one-off game, it might be easier because you pick one little map and one little dungeon and you, you run your guys through it. Ooh, what's that? Cooler. Huh. That might be cool to have. I'll take that. Oh, I didn't lock the car. fire's coming out of the barrel. I, was like, I know we got lots of money in this game, but I like to see what's in the barrels. Ooh, what's that? A wet uh, pants. Is that? What is that? Uh, oh. Labeled for menu 10. Chili and macaroni contains various tasty nutrients, food, and flameless ration heater. Yes. Okay. Not sure how you use that. What's in this one? Anything? Lots and lots of a cold relief bomb. <laughs> it's always around. Can we search? I never realized you could search, unless it's something they just added, because I saw that last week when I was playing with Turbo Girl. Uh, seems to be empty. You could search uh, boxes, which I didn't think you could do before, but maybe you could, and I just never noticed it. You usually find garbage. But it's kind of cool that you can search search boxes. Oh, I found something. What did I find? I found a raincoat. Can I put my raincoat over top of what I'm wearing? Keep the rain off? Probably not. And it's probably something that makes me really cold. I'll take it anyways. I mean, the, the one beauty, the one thing about this game compared to like a game like Rust or some of the other survival games, is there seems to be everything. Like there's, like I said, there's batteries, there's spark plugs, there's, you know, generators. 
so many little little details but I feel like there's a huge learning curve on this game because um, I've played it a bunch of times and I never really knew how to play it until just recently so I started playing the PvE server camping tent let's take another camping tent we can put another tent up at our site in there Don't want the water bottle. We do have to fill up our water bottles over here. Standardized mags. You know what? I'm going to take those. Oh, there's uh, a lot of guns here. My goodness. We'll take these mags, though, because I think I can use them. All about recycling the junk. Okay, we need to buy... Your gear, rag cabin. I could put another cabin on the site. It takes a lot to build the cabins, though. Greenhouse and gazebos. What's the gaze I wonder what the gazebo actually looks like. Because it would be cool to have something to work under. <laughs> rag cabin so expensive. Let's um. Oh, I only have 5,000 money, so we're not going to be able to buy that. Buy the essentials that we need. We're going to start uh, going and killing zombies and picking stuff up and looting boxes stuff to get some money. <laughs> Tools big. We need a pickaxe. Buy two. I'll buy one. Buy two. Fishing hooks. I haven't tried fishing in this game. It might be something interesting to try at some point. There's the there's the well kit. Oh, it's a well bucket, and you build the well kit. Which I already made the well kit, but it apparently doesn't have everything I need. Product information. What is this? Oh, weapon, weapon cleaning patches, hmm. weapon solvent, gun cleaning kit, sharpening. I don't know what you use to fix the tools, unless it's like epoxy, because I never grab epoxy. Flags, fishing lines, bait and lure, tackles and knives, we need spark plugs, peace building. Concrete mix, mortar mix. I think it said we need a mortar mix for the... I'm not going to buy mortar mix right now. Cooking and hunting. We got all the cooking stuff. <laughs> Grab a couple spools of wire. Range finder. Electronic repair kit. Don't know if I have one of those yet. Don't need any batteries. Ooh, there's a battery charger. That might be interesting to have. Fire and lights. I do need another head torch, so grab one of those. Hardware supply. I don't remember where the spark plugs were. There's the generator. Buy some more Christmas lights. Box nails. It's probably in the car parts. is here. Vehicle parts. I haven't seen a use for motor oil in this um, 
this modded server at all. What's that? Oh, headlights. Because apparently the, the uh, cars are indestructible. There's spark plugs. Let's get a couple of spark plugs. Circuit boards. Parking meter. Car battery radiator, radiator. We don't need those. Tire repair kit. <laughs> Dually wheels. I forget what our car is called. I'll have to look next time we get to the car. Does it say what type of car this is? Add a add a four by four. I crashed the game for a second there. Oh, you can get ATVs. Oh, you get, uh, looks like, yeah, bud, Baja bugs. Yeah, cool. Vehicle parts, ATV. Where's the parts for the, the Ada? Is it just regular vehicle? Must be regular vehicle parts. Olga. Gunter. Oh, there's Ada. Right door. You get a rusted door. There's supposed to be like hoods with flames and stuff on them. Maybe they don't have them. Yeah, they don't have. Doesn't look like they have ones with like different, different things on them. Sure what that was. I'll have to check that out later. Okay. All right. I think we got everything. Oh, we got to fill out the water bottles. Where's my water bottles? It'd be nice if we could get a water um, source at the house. I didn't see any pipes. I need. I still need pipes. That's what we need to build a water pump. Take one look. One more look in the base building stuff. And we'll see. All right. Lots of water. Maybe base stuff, greenhouse, various storage, storage of furniture, greenhouse gazebo, no, um, blueprints, vinyl records, gramophone, building. Carpet. Well, we can get some carpet. It might look cool in the house. 2000 I don't think I have 2000 to spend. Well, I have 4000 to spend, but I'm not going to buy that. Uh, <laughs> land of the free. Tripod. See, they have electronics, but they don't have plumbing. Gas canister, pen, paper. Hmm. Something else we need to Google here. I 
how to make pipes in Daisy. What's oh, a melee weapon? But what if you need it for crafting? So it says you need a pipe for the water pump, but I don't see. See anything that says pipes? Fence kit. You can build a watchtower. How on earth is this? How on earth is this pipes function supposed to be? I wonder if you need a pipe wrench just to make, and you can make the pipes. If anybody knows, let me know, please. Because <laughs> I'm not sure how you make the pipes. Smoking pipe. It's called a water pump. How to make water pump. In Daisy. Daisy water pump. Water pumps are wells or structures used to extract fresh water from a well. The only constant source of clean water in Daisy. These pumps are commonly found within city. Yeah. Okay, general village loot function. Hmm, that doesn't say anything about how to make it. It's for the rag cabin, so I'm not 100% sure where I need to even look for that. Well, I don't know where UPM ended up. I guess he maybe isn't coming tonight. So we got what we need. We'll go back, get the generator working. Then we'll maybe we'll go see if we can find a, a, some zombies to shoot. Tom, are you still here? I'm I'm sure you're not streaming it on your Discord, but if you if you were to stream it on your Discord, I I might come over and listen to a little bit of your D and D tomorrow if you're if you're doing that. It just depends on what time you're doing it at. Oh, whoa, wow. Everybody saw that, right? It fell right through the map. That was crazy. Much farther to the road. Here it is. Spooky Friday the 13th shenanigans. Yes, for sure. The server's uh, playing hijinks on us. <laughs> There's the sound alerts. Thanks, Turbo Girl. Hey, if you're looking to not play Battlefield anymore, you can come uh, join me on Daisy if you want for a little bit. Shoot some zombies. 
Uh, Turbo Guy, you could come too if you want. Unless you guys are having fun with your hackers on Battlefield. Okay, yeah. Oh, you did the air horn. Oh, I thought it was Turbo Girl. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Turbo Guy. I'm trying to drive and read. Appreciate it. Thank you for the, the sound. Oh, no! <laughs> See, I try to read the chat while I'm driving, and, uh, and um, shenanigans happen. I didn't flip it. I only flip it when Turbo Girl's in the car. I say that, now I'm going to flip it going around the corner up here. We all know how hard driving is in this game. It really is, because it's like, it's tied to the server lag, like, big time. You think that they'd do something. Of course, I know most people don't probably use the vehicles in, in most of the DZ servers. It's all about being quiet and not getting shot by other people. Now it's a nice sunny afternoon here on the on Nemolinsk. Nemolsk. Nemolsk? Is that how you say it? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I think I heard somebody cutting a tree back there. Yeah, this game actually looks pretty pretty good when the sun's shining and it's like showing off all the colors. When it's raining or snowing, it's like very, very bleak looking game. Namalsk. Namalsk. Okay. <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to make a map that's like Louisiana or something, or like Man Manitoba. You know, places that I can pronounce. <laughs> would love some North American maps or even like just like a warm map even if it was like northern northern England like or Scotland where it's where it would be like colder weather at times but it'd be cool to just see a different part of the world than Eastern Europe not that there's anything wrong with that <laughs> Look at that, doesn't that look awesome? In fact, the next clearing... Oh, this guy's house here is in the clearing. Here we go. Okay, pull over. Oh, one more. Uh, there we go. Let's get a good shot. There we go. Shows off the, the beauty of the game sometimes. I don't have Daisy installed. Only I'll Turbo Guy. <laughs> you know, there was they just had Prime Day and hard drives were on sale, just just saying. <laughs> Need room for Starfield. Yeah, for sure. Starfield's huge. I think I heard that there's an update coming for Starfield. I could be wrong. I'm wondering if they're actually to do like uh, random content like they do for uh, Fallout 76, even though it's a single player game. They gotta keep people playing the game. I need to find some time to jump back in it. 
How big is Starfield? Um, I forget, but it's pretty big. I think it might be like 80 gigs. No, not 80 gigs. 80. Yeah, 80 gigs maybe. Like the. Um, I know, like Warzone is over 100. Need to have buggies or something. Yeah, for sure. It would be so cool to bomb around uh, a planet or even just your your outpost. Bomb around your outpost world um, on a buggy. Plus the extra storage. Yeah, I'm interested to see how they're going to keep us coming back to the game. Yeah, they said they want, or Todd Howard was saying they want people to be playing it for years, but it's not it's not the type of game that's going to be like Skyrim. Oh, it's 120 gigs? Oof. She a big she a big install. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to have to have like some content outside of the main story that you can have people keep doing it whether they have like monthly, I don't know, monthly missions or something, I don't know. When the server's stable enough, I can get this car going like 90. But with it lagging out so much, I, I'm, see, I'm afraid to go over 40. from home here. Uh, oh, 500, oh, five, wait a minute. 200 meters, okay, we're almost there. Airdrop at Terra, it's heading towards Terra Harbor. I don't know where that is. Yeah, I think we're gonna try to build this well, we'll get the generator going, and then we'll see if we can go shoot some stuff in one of the in one of the towns. Chances are I'm gonna die, but because the zombies the zombies suck. There's a lot of them. Okay, where's my wrench? Pick up the car. Anyways, for this game, I know there was uh, there was some talk about custom maps a while back. I was reading an article about people doing some different custom maps, but I haven't seen any any custom maps come out that that look um, you know playable. They're all kind of in half done, pre-release type thing. Oh, cool! You can see the flag from here. Look at that. If I pull out the where's the sniper rifle? I don't have a sniper rifle. I have this rifle that has a good scope on it. Hey, look at the house down there. That's cool. <laughs> In our little tiny... I got my... I picked up my car, right? Let's just see where that ended up. Yeah, there it is. Auto. Probably gonna need to grab some bark on the way by, so we'll grab one of these trees and get some bark. Gather dark bark. Should have lots of wood back at the house for the fires. There's our house. 
I'm gonna throw up the new tent. Everybody's got a tent here now. Oh, I should probably take <laughs> should probably take this thing off the wall. <laughs> it's really far. It was a lot closer, I thought, last week, but I guess it's uh, it's really not a good spot for it. Where's my? Is that the regular hammer? <laughs> That's the portal building hammer. Where's the other hammer? Uh, maybe I don't have another hammer. I had a screwdriver too, but I think it fell through the bottom of the house. Let's see. Is there a hammer in here? Yeah, it's pretty damn. Oh, it's damaged. Can I fix the? I don't think I can fix the hammer. That sucks. If it was worn, I could probably fix it. But because it's damaged, I can't fix it. Um, I don't have anything else I can use as a hammer right now. So that'll be on our next trip. It was that far away. Oh, was it that far away last time? It. I think it looked like it was touching the, the fireplace last time. I can't take it off the wall without a hammer. There's your, pr your pool, Turbo Girl. With your little lions and everything on it. Um, can I? Oh, I need a, <laughs> I need a tool to pick this up too, because I should pick it up and then dig the ground out. Because then I can flatten the ground out like I did wherever, wherever that spot was. Right there? No, I don't know. Flatten the ground out and then stick it on flat ground so that it doesn't have the the uh, stuff sticking through it. Let's put that tent. Got cooler too. Put this tent. Right here. Ooh, look at that. We got three different looking tents. That's cool. Nice thing with the tent, it gives you um, more storage. That's a big tent. Look at the size of that. It's bigger than the other two. And it might be the same size as that one. cooler out here on the porch. Choose placement. Yeah, right there. Look at this. Box full of fireworks, ready to light any party up. It's probably still good, even if mildly damaged or damp. Do not ignite while indoors. <laughs> Stay away from it after ignition. Okay. <laughs> Can't wait to light those off. Where's the fireplace? There it is. Didn't I pick up... Where's the... That's eight, but I thought I picked up a three patch. There's the three patch. And did I get rid of all the wood I was carrying earlier? Uh, oh, there's a piece. So at least we can get the fire lit. I think there's some wood in, is it in here. Yeah, there's more wood. Gotta bring the fire. I don't know why we're keeping that damaged hammer. Heat the place up. Let's go see if we can turn the generator back on now, too. That says that's pristine, so I don't understand why the spark plug doesn't doesn't work. There's no place to put a battery in it, either, even though like, it's got a battery thing here, but... Um, portable gasoline power generator provides enough electricity to power a small home for as long as fuel lasts. But there's no place to put fuel in it either. So it's really weird. I think the regular generator allows you to put fuel in it, but in this server I don't think they have it set up that way. 
Where is my spark plugs? Try changing out these spark plugs if I can find them. I know I bought two spark plugs or three spark plugs. <laughs> well, there's one. I can't see where to turn it on either. There should be a button. It said before, turn generator on. Maybe I pick it up and replace it. huge. Can I not pick it up? It's probably... Oh, what happened there? Take. Is there wiring that I'm missing? There's see there's the stuff for the water pump, but I need pipes and I don't know how to make pipes. It needs epoxy, it needs wire, and it needs pipes. Unless I just have to use like the just a metal bashing pipe, I don't know. <laughs> Can you please get in my backpack? Holding hands. Okay, can I unplug can I unplug the wiring from it? Reposition, unplug device. I don't know how to do put it on the ground. Unplug device. Take to hands, reposition. Okay, that unplugged that unplugged the generator. Let's put the light back out here. Stand up, dummy. I can't see what I'm doing. Alright, there's the construction light. Okay, pick that up. I'm going to put it on the other side of the house, because I think there's... Um, smoke that comes off of this thing. This is where I need to... Yeah, there we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. Look at the size of that thing. I'm carrying it. Probably getting a hernia from it. Let's put it like... So... Oop, don't take it. Dummy, you took it. Where did it go? See, the battery, the battery's still, there's no battery. Hmm. Can I hook up the battery charger to it? Do I, still, do I have the battery charger? Used to charge truck or car batteries when plugged into running electrical grid. Hmm. If I get a... Here we go, Turbo Girl. I'm going to grab a battery. I have no idea how these things work. Yeah, it's weird. This truck battery is worn. Shit. 
I almost licked it again. <laughs> Can I combine it? Oh, oh! Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, now I just need some wire. Wait. Wait, what? Power generator. Can I turn it on now? Oh, it's sitting on the ground. Okay, I thought it went into the thing. Oh! Sticky hands! I keep picking stuff up. I have no idea how to get this thing working. It won't go... Here, it won't go in the battery slot. It can go on the ground next to it. Can I run wire to it, maybe? Do I have any wire on me? I don't think I have wire on me. Oh, I do have wire on me. Attach. And... Oh, I'm <laughs> I restrained myself. Crap, how do I take the how do I take it off? <laughs> you restrained yourself. <laughs> Stupid wire. I didn't even know you could do that. All the things I keep learning in this dumb game. <laughs> Not a dumb game, it's a great game. <laughs> I said attach it to here. Oh no, I'm doing it again. Okay, there. Now can I attach it to I attach it to that. How do I attach it to things? Well, we can attach it. Where's the light? We can attach it to the light, I'm sure. Connect. I'll switch on. There, the light works, but we can now we got a battery with no power. The best ever. You can com you c can you combine it with the generator now that it has a wire. Um, I don't know if I get the, where's the spool. I got a spool of wiring, right? So let's connect. Plug in. How do I unplug it? Switch off. Unplug device. Unplug, okay, unplug device. Taking hands. Connect. Yeah, see the generator has no power. I remember the first time I put this generator down, it said, um, switch on. But now you can't switch it on and there's no way to there's no way to add a battery to it <laughs> which is just kind of dumb hmm What happened to my Christmas lights that I bought? Oh, they're there. 
Can I put these on the house? I can't put the Christmas lights on the house. See, this one already has, this one has Christmas lights on it, but I'm not sure. Let me unplug these Christmas lights. Did I pick the Christmas lights back up? Where are they? See that has Christmas lights on it, but how do I plug it in? Oh, there's the oh, there's the pickaxes. <laughs> Restrain my hands. No. Like the battery. I'm not liking the battery. <laughs> Plug in, attach. Hey, look at that Christmas lights. Well, at least I can get the Christmas lights moving. Or going. Let's put this over here. Oh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> there! I did it! I'm happy. I'm happy that I licked the battery. <laughs> That's because I have nobody here to stop me. <laughs> I knew it would happen. Yeah, it's because I picked it up. Damn. Battery stand up, dummy. Let's go. Oh my goodness. I was thought I was putting it down. <laughs> I licked it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> How do I switch these lights back on though? <laughs> Lick battery, don't. I, I know, it says don't. <laughs> I already know that. I'm not going to do it. Okay, so we gotta plug it in, and then attach it. All right, Christmas lights we have, and they're they're gonna work until the battery runs out. But how cool is that, eh? I, I wish I could put them on the cabin, though. I don't know how you put them on the cabin. Maybe on the maybe you put it on the rail. No, probably not. I don't think you put anything on the cabin. warm fire. Do I need food? I probably need food. Let's see. Uh, is, is it B? Yeah, there we go. Player profile. Uh, water, energy. Players killed while we don't... We're not shooting players. Territory is invited to. <laughs> Server rules. Hmm, I wonder if it tells me in here how to make pipes. Shelter kit. 
That's just for a tent, I think. What's a HESCO kit? Helicopter pad. I'm glad I stuck around, but I'm going to go watch spoopy movies now. Thanks for the laughs. <laughs> Another one for the books. <laughs> Thanks, Turbo Girl. Thanks for hanging out. You have to come and play next time. Torches, medical supplies. Melee weapons, no. Supplies. Hmm. For sure, again soon, yeah. Plastic bottles of present. I think we're gonna have to go, maybe do a, maybe do a run. It's nighttime, so it's gonna be weird and hard in the back in the darkness. Grab some food before we go. Throw one of these steaks on the grill. Terra, her, always destroyed by infected. Great. I don't know if the vampire, not the vampires. I don't know if the um, the things get uh, the zombies get tougher at night or not in this. I just know night's super super long. Okay, let's put this on the grill, and we'll watch it cook. The meat has to taste better than the uh, than the battery, right? You would think. Listen to it sizzle. Chunk of wolf meat, not very tasty, like most predator meats, but very vein and very veiny, can be eaten in the in a pinch, preferably cooked. Is that fire going out? Oh, the fire is going out instead of wood. <laughs> oh, oh no, I burnt the steak. How do I get it off there? Aw, oh, man, it's burnt. Chunk of wolf meat, not very tasty. Like, mo okay, I can still eat it though. It's super hot though. I should let it cool off. Let's go out here, take a look at our Christmas lights, and chop some wood. Where'd my okay? There's my axe. I'm not sure how much wood you can get. I think it's, you can do it the one time. Except I still have one of five. Okay, so you can do it up to five times. All right, I'll go get the fire lit again. I don't know what I've got to use. Rags, bandages, paper, or bark. Do I have any? I have more bark, right? I think you can split it by hitting shift. No? Right click. Oh, there we go. Right click. Load that puppy up and light her up. So 
somewhere I have matches. Where's my matches? I know I still have some. Little matchbox, where'd you go? There you are. And I guess we'll eat that burnt meat before we go. Mmm, tasty burnt meat. It's actually gonna, yeah, it's gonna make my health go up. It, yeah, you don't get as much out of it though. And we'll drink some of that water we picked up. Actually, I have one of these cans pop. Actually, we'll leave some stuff here because we don't need to take all this stuff with us. The fireworks in the safe. Shovel. Probably put those empty. Empty things in that thing there. Military crate. Oh, it won't fit in the military crate. It'll fit in the gun locker though. Headlamp right there. Uh, we gotta put a battery in it, right? Turn it on before we put it in our in our. Wait, how do I turn it on? There we go. Ooh, this is a red light. That's different. Yeah, that's like a red. Wow, that's a completely different bulb. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, we got lots of lots of ammo. It looks like. Oh, there's storage in the sofa. I forgot about that too. Plastic wrap can be used for wrapping machines. Oh, a wrapping machine. Okay, so we'll put that there. So we don't need the hat. Oh, maybe the sky is. Maybe it's red because that storm's coming back. Because I hear music. Close it all up. Close it up. Hey, close it up. Come on. And we'll head up to the car and we'll go see if we can find find a place to shoot some zombies. I don't have a lot of bandages, which kind of sucks, but uh, oh, I guess I got a few. Can you stack these things? You can't stack the bandages. Well, when we get up here, we'll take a look back and see if we can see if we can see the house if it's lit up by the if I can see the um, fire at the house. A lot of trees down here. I think somebody's been chopping trees recently. 
I haven't seen anybody else tonight. I know there's other people on the server. Can we see the... Where was it we could see the house from? Here? Yeah, it's too dark. Yeah, I can't see it. Ooh, shoes. A little hockey helmet. It's a Jofa helmet. <laughs> Good European hockey helmet. Uh, we need the car. Uh, actually, we're going to go to this. Actually, you know what? Let's figure out where I'm going first. What's nearby? So we're here. We drive up to Norsk. Yeah, that's probably the closest. Or we can drive into BK LO2. But there's only There's only a purple crate there. Oh, that's where Terra, Terra Bridge is, way over there. Oh, well, it's over by the trader. Could drive out to the trader and go a little further and see what's over there. Over to the sawmill, maybe? Check out the sawmill. Looks like a smaller area. Or we can check this, this area here. I know there's zombies down there all the time. So let's go, uh, how do I mark this thing? Double click. Go here. Which is that way. Off on a little Nighttime adventure. Oh, going downhill. Oh, no. Oh. That's why we flip over down here, because it's a downhill. I don't never realize there was so much downhill before. Bumpy road. Slow right down, check the map. We are, where are we? Right there, okay. Nice quiet drive in the darkness. Nothing really to see. Hopefully, we get to it. Like Straight away is coming up. We'll check them out. Yeah, they're straight. If there was a way to open a little picture picture map, that'd be great. So you can track where you're going, especially if you had the, because I think I have the GPS, but I don't know how to. I don't think I can use the GPS in that way. If 
depending how this fight goes, I think we'll probably go to 1.30. It's 10 after now, so we'll see what we get into down here at the at the dock. I don't even see the marker yet. <laughs> There's a light over here. So, seriously, is this guy's light still working? Like, this guy hasn't been on in forever. And his lights are still generating light. Like, oh, because he's got solar panels, I think. Maybe that's what we need to do, just find a way to get a solar panel for the generator. That's awfully bright. <laughs> to go yet. Hoping to see that marker soon. Airdrop coming in at a loop, loop chance. I think that's way up north. Here, this guy's got lights on all the time too. Oh, you can build over your flag. His flag's inside his base. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out all the ins and outs of this game. But there's, uh, there's a lot of, of recipes in that that the game doesn't tell you about. And then you get servers that have mods on it. Like, this server has a bunch of mods on it. That I'm not 100% how to sure how to use either. Just imagine getting onto a PvP server where you need to one survive the zombies in the elements, but also survive people shooting you, um, and still trying to figure out how to cook and everything like that with never playing before. Like I know I've played I've played a bunch now, but even even when I was playing on a PvP PvP server before, um, like a lot of times you'd get you shot before you get anything good, or you'd, or you'd get, uh, like, wet and sick, and you die, or you'd break, in it, break your leg, and you couldn't get the right stuff, to, you couldn't get the splint, although you can make splints. I did, that was one of the first things I learned how to make was the splints, but you need to have the materials to make it. And then, I never knew that if you used rags to, uh, treat your wounds, you can get infected from the rags. You gotta use the, uh, actual like medical gauze and everything. Alright, we gotta be coming up to this turn off here soon. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna go... Well, we can drive in and see how the zombies look. If there's a lot of zombies here, then we'll drive back out, park the car, and then go walking on foot, because it can be a little more stealthy on foot. this place last time there was a bunch of zombies over here. Oh what's that? oh there's another another floaty down there. Oh look at that. Or a pink floaty. I don't know if we have a pink floaty yet.
baseball cap, and we'll take the floaty. Standard military backpack. Anything in the backpack? Nope. What says t-shirt? Pepsi bottle. I don't need any more Pepsi bottles. Stack of wood lets you actually take wood from it? No, you can't. Let's go check this house out. I don't think this is anybody's house. It's so tough to see if there's anybody in there. Large wallet. Anything in the wallet? Nope. Empty wallet. Grab bag of chips. Another hockey helmet. I don't need. I don't need two. Vitamin pills. I'll take those. What's that? Oh, optic scope. Yeah, I'll take that. I think I got a gun that needs an optic scope. Oh, look at all the guns in here. Look at that. It's a revolver. And. Magazine and these seeds pack cannabis seeds. Always cannabis seeds in this game. Can you can you use this fireplace? Can't use that fireplace. Can you use the stove? You should be able to use the stove. No, nope, can't use the stove either. You can close the stove, but you can't use it. Is there a front door in this place? Oh, it's barred. Bug catcher. Bandana. There's a cleaver in there. Some some wellies. What's this? Odin statue? Yeah, we're taking that. I'm putting that statue up. Well, we can't search these boxes. Hmm. Guess you can only search the boxes at the uh, at the safe zone. Denim jacket. That's a zombie. I'm gonna find something to get up on so I can shoot the zombie. Can we see him from here? I could probably throw a flare. I think I have a road flare on me. Was he? Oh, there he is. How do I throw this now? Throw it. Oh, now it's now it's daylight. <laughs> I guess I can drop it. There, now it's just dropped in the vicinity. There must be a way to throw it. Let's see. Let's see if we can drop it over here. Roof. Okay. Mm 
Was there only one zombie here, really? That's it. That's a little underwhelming, actually. I expected more. get search the rest of these buildings. Nothing in here. Baseball cap. Well usually if there's one zombie there's more. Which is really weird that there's one. And how did he get up there in the first place? Because I can't even get up there. I'm going to say he probably... Oh, there's another guy. Oh, there's more. There are more zombies. We just couldn't see them from where we're at. If I could get up on this building, though, that'd be great. Can't get up on the building. They're in the woods. Hey, time to go. Time to go. Oh, God! Get on something. Get on the roof here. There we go. Get up the roof. Yeah, this is getting better now. We got some stuff to shoot at. You gonna come out of there, dude? Anybody else to shoot at? Build on the the boat there? No. Well, that was nice. There was more than more than just a couple of zombies or one zombie. Let's get that guy. There was a guy hiding in the woods. I don't know if he's one of the ones that ran at us or or not. Should probably jump down and go see if they had anything on them. Nothing on him. What's he got? Deformed rifle tips? I don't know what that's all about. That's, that's only been in the last update that those have been in. Another concrete building over there. Come here and gunfire. Nothing on this guy. Deformed gun. They don't ever have anything on them that's any good. Probably killed them all. For now, anyways, I'm sure more will spawn. Let's go see what's in the house. Ooh, oh, crap, behind the door. What do we got? We got, uh, 
I said, uh, what's the scope? Okay, we'll take the scope. I'm gonna leave the gun. I don't want the damn gun. Got enough guns. Same. Oh, that's a night scope. Huh? Let's see what that works on. Oh, what's this? Snow stock. Honey badger. Ah, uh, we'll take the honey badger. What the hell? Another revolver. Can always sell them, which is good. AR stock. Weapon gloves? Alright, sure, why not? And that's it. That's the only, only rooms in the house. I want to check that building out over there. Let's go up here on the roof first and get a good sight, a sight line. Get up on this roof. Nope. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just debris. If there's any zombies hanging out over by that building. Actually, we're going to change mags before we go there. Oh, there's wire here. Now, we had quite a few zombies that showed up back there, so I'm surprised there aren't any over here. Guess there's nobody around. How do we get in this place? Maybe we don't. Oh, right here. 7.19 a.m. What you hiding in here? You got boxes. And absolutely nothing. Oh, what's that? Fishing lure. That's all I got for coming over here is a stupid fishing lure. I'm good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I thought that was a zombie. Alright, time to head back to the car. Yeah, especially since it's really cold here. Oh, another tent. You know, <laughs> another tent. Do I have room for the tent? If I move stuff around, can I fit the tent in here? Why can't I see the tent? Can't see the tent in the vicinity. It's like it's not really there. Maybe it's not really there. Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe somebody dropped one there and it just ended up being a, a glitch. Collared collar dress. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna start using those flares a lot more. They do, uh, they come in handy at night, but you gotta drop them someplace. Ooh, nice orange boonie hat. Pants suit. Suit pants. All right, car, let's go home. Actually, we should go, since we're out this way, we'll hit, it, hit the trader. Maybe we'll sell some of these guns we picked up. And I get a hammer.
All right, time to go. Head over to the trader um, and get what we need. Head back to head back to base. One thirty. I'll go a little longer just because we're gonna go to the trader. Where's the turn? There's the turn. Oh, make the turn. Oh, <laughs> tight turns. These roads are really built for like motorcycles or something. They're really not big enough for two vehicles. Be careful going over 60. End up getting the server lag and spin spin the car out like that. Oh. We should have really built closer to, to the uh, the traders. We're so far away from both traders. But we built in an area where there should be airdrops. Um, and if we ever have a couple of people on for the, the team, we'll go do the airdrops because there's a lot, of, a lot of zombies at the airdrops. As anybody that's been here has seen in previous weeks, we went to the one by the uh, the crashed air, uh, crashed um, plane, and oh my goodness, there were wolves, there were zombies. I think there might have been like uh, some other demonic beast. It was crazy. Two of us taking on a horde of zombies. Hiding, I was hiding in the in the uh, airplane. UPM was trying to hide in the bushes. It was really hard. <laughs> Died three, four times. But we got through, we got the stuff. I think we got the stuff from the airdrop, or maybe it was another airdrop. Maybe it was the second airdrop that we got stuff from. It's a shame there's a train on this bridge. Could be a good little shortcut. Oh, hello, boys. Roadkill. Still, really haven't seen anybody else on here tonight. Uh, but I've seen people coming in and off, in and leaving the server. Is this where my road is? Oh, next tree. Right here. Long lonely drive back to this trader. He's in a really weird spot. I'm sure that maybe there's an easier way to get to him from the other side of the map, but um, he's right along the train the train line, which it's now it's really easier to turn here and go to it than to go down the the road, because the best place to park is actually on this side of the tracks. Oh. Except when you run into a tree. <laughs> it's not that easy to get through when there's trees in the way. Oh, watch out for the pole. There's the trader. around so we get out of here a lot easier. Uh, lights are on, but turn them off. Hey, get out of the car. 
Uh oh. I thought there was some server lag there for a second. Maybe there was. What's happening here? Somebody lit a fire, that's nice. Still the same junk. We want to go and sell guns. Weapons. So we picked up... What we, we picked up the honey badger. We can sell that. Maybe we can't sell it. Scar, that's the gun I think I'm using. The revolvers, we got two of those, we sell those. Oh yeah, we sell them. Sell both of them. I'm not sure what other ones we picked up. Tundra, that's my gun. Not planning on keeping the revolvers, we'll just sell them. And Honey Badger's integral compress or suppressed personal defense weapon used on the AR-15. Fed from detachable magazines, uses 300 blackout rounds. I don't have 300 rounds, so we're just going to sell it. We don't need it. Oh, I've got two scars. Hmm. And we need to buy a hammer while we're here. Base stuff. Tools. Hammer and a screwdriver, I think, so I have both. Might buy another generator just because I don't know what's going on with that other generator. I don't know how to get it working. Metal canister useful for storing large volumes of gasoline or other liquids. I don't think we have to use that. Contains butane. Is provided to gas powered camping equipment after attaching it. Furnace gas canister. I'm going to buy one of these gas canisters just to see get the big one. If I can attach it to the generator. How much was the generator? 1500 I'll Buy another generator. Just make sure everything's fitting in my backpack here. Yeah, gen okay, generator's in. We can't buy much more. I do need to buy a hammer, though. That storm's getting closer. Screwdriver, we'll buy a screwdriver too. I want to get out of here before that storm gets here. Doesn't really give you any indication which way the storm's coming from either, which kind of sucks. Because I would like to drive away from it. <laughs> it does make you black out, which sucks. Last time we were in here, we went, we went through the map and ended up in a tree. Hopefully that's not going to happen again. Alright, back 
to the road, which is a good thing. It didn't take long at all. Let's get back to our base. Kill any zombies we see along the way if they're in the road. There's a guy crossing the road. Is he going to make it? He's not going to make it. Boom. Yeah, we missed him. Cars all over the road. Stop car. There, there we go. With any luck, we'll miss that storm. It'll be coming the other way. Need to learn a little bit more about the generators and that because in in this one it doesn't look like you need to fuel it but maybe if you leave it on it wears out um, if you turn it off it'll be fine because it doesn't say the only thing it says is it needs a spark plug which I have several of and it doesn't doesn't seem to do anything once it runs out of juice I don't know how to I tried to attach the battery to it but the battery won't attach to it so there's something I'm missing. Cars on this server are indestructible, so they never you never have to fuel them. If you flip them over, they're fine. They don't. Uh, you can get hit by it, <laughs> but you can't uh, you can't destroy the cars. And I think it's the same for the helicopters. I saw a helicopter land on its side and it didn't seem to take any damage, which is kind of cool. It's a big map. You gotta get some way to get around on on it without just running everywhere. And if anybody knows Daisy, there's a lot of server lag. Oh, there's the storm. Okay, we're probably gonna black out. As soon as I see it, boom, I'm gonna stop the car. Stop the car. Alright, stop the car. Turn the car off. I don't want to end up in a ditch. It's getting very dark. Alright, hit your second boom. Oh, that didn't knock me out. Okay. Usually it knocks you out. Maybe the third boom. There, there's the third one. Actually, we're staying up this time. Oh, no. <laughs> there's the... There's the blackout. Eventually we'll come to. We can drive on our way. Not sure what the purpose of that is, unless that respawns all the zombies. <laughs> Come on, wake up. There we go. Are lights on? Lights are off. They're on now. That would suck if you were going after an airdrop and that came through. Because the zombies would have their way. This guy's 
house is massive. He's got greenhouses up on the top of it. I haven't really seen the zombies roaming out here. I do see wolves every once in a while, and I'm pretty sure I've seen a bear out here. Bears in this game are not, they're tough. I saw them take, I saw a bear take down the guy. He just ran up behind him, just clawed, clawed him from behind. Cars can move if you get a road that's flat enough and doesn't doesn't have a lot of bounce to it, a lot of hills. Handles pretty good for mouse and keyboard. What? I don't see my markers on the map. Oh, they're there. Alright, plan when we get back to the base, I think, is to take the medical cabinet off the wall and move it, move it back. Um, I was going to try to build the well, but I'm not, actually sure, sure, not exactly sure how to build the well. And, oh, I meant to look for pipe when we were at the... Yeah, it would have been under weapons, under melee weapons. Have to look next time. Whoa! See, there's the bumpy road. here. Yeah, that's that whole stretch of road right there is all uphill. Yeah, I say that there's never any zombies out here, and then eventually there's going to be zombies out here, and I'm not going to see them because I won't know to be watching for them. Oh, that took a long time. I think the server glitched when I was trying to do it. Where's the... There it is. Better grab some... Oh no, I still have four bark, and I still have a bunch of firewood. So the fire may still be on. We haven't been gone that long. Yeah, we are way back in the woods here. Down by the shore. There's a lot of there's a lot of other houses. There's a house way over there and another one to this side. Spaced pretty well apart. To give you enough little area to build. Did the 
battery. The battery must have run out of juice. Where is the battery? Hmm. Oh, I was just at Bransk. <laughs> There's an airdrop going in there now. Let's take this thing off. Okay, here's the new generator. Let's put the generator on the ground first. Put it right here. Hmm. I'll take care of that in a minute. Let's get the hammer. The other hammer. Where's the new hammer? Oh, did, well, you can use a screwdriver, I think. Let's use a screwdriver. Dismantle. Put this medical cab. I'm pretty sure I can mount it inside the the um, cabin. There are a few walls that don't have anything on them yet. Let's put it on. Oh, it left the fridge open. Let's put it, yeah, we'll put it here next to the, the gun cabinet. Uh, is that it? Nope, that's the Odin statue. Where's the... I bet you I had to pick it up. Yeah, there it is. It's funny, you can throw all this stuff in your backpack, but as soon as you try to carry something, it weighs like a ton. Yeah, that's better. Now it looks like it's actually on the wall instead of hanging off the building. Can we open the medical box, or is it just it's just a near? Oh, it's just a near thing. Okay. Let's see. We have a ton. I think we have a ton of medical. Can we put the? Oh, we can put anything in it. So we'll put that in there. Uh, I'll put the vitamins in there. some extra supplies in here, charcoal tablets. We've been picking those up because we keep at the times we were dying at the start, we have a bunch of them on us. Coding pills. Put a spirit box of matches in there. Get the fire up and run it again. And I don't have any wood on me. Is there still wood in the fireplace? No, it all wore out. Damn it. Outside we go to chop wood. I'm gonna have to do more research to see how to get pipes. I think you just you may have to just buy a melee pipe. Because we have a water there's a water pump that you can use in this house that'll give you uh, clean water. But I'm not exactly sure how to build a pipe. It's the only thing we're missing. We have the epoxy, we have um, there's another thing that we, we bought to put in the in the thing too. Uh, do I have still Yeah there it is. Matches. Right, we 
got the heat, heat going again. And we want to try to get the generator going. I do have two spark plugs. Where's the other spark plug? Okay, that one I can switch on. This one I can't switch on. I don't know if it's what it's like. It's out of juice for some reason. So if we get this wire here, plug it in. Run the wire over here. And we should be able to plug. Is this thing already plugged in? No, it can't be already plugged in. Unplugged device. Connect. Okay. Switch that off. Where did the wire go? Oh, right there. Okay. So that's plugged in. Take this in my hands. Take it in my hands. I'm going to place it here and see if we can do that connection halfway. Switch on, taking hands. This is plugged in. Plug. Connect. Switch on. Turn the generator on. That should give us, yeah, it gives us light on the house. Now I have a battery charger somewhere. There it is. We plug that into this. Plug in. Hmm. I don't know how to charge that other unit. Shoes placement. Hold the place. Let's see if I can, I can combine this. Okay, I got that in my hands. Can we combine these? Can't combine those. How do you refill the generator? Unless I actually do need fuel. It doesn't say it's out of, it just says it's out of power. But you can't actually hook it up. 
portable gasoline power generator. It provides enough electricity to power a small house for as long as the fuel lasts. Except there's no fuel gauge on it. Oh well, we'll put it back in storage. Stored in the new tent. It's stored in the tent. And we f figure out how to fuel it, we can refuel it. For now, we've got this generator. And we get the battery charger, and we can throw a couple batteries on, the, on there to charge, because I think I've got... Yeah, that one's completely empty. Wait. Oh, it's big batteries. I do have a big battery to charge. I'm going to try not to lick it this time. I licked it like the last two times I've used it. Helping hands kit. Barrel furnace. Where did I put the battery? I could have sworn we had the battery hooked up out here somewhere, but I don't see the battery now. was another battery somewhere too, but I don't know what happened to that battery either. It might be in the barrel. Yeah, there's the... that's in pristine condition. Solo locker white kit. Leather, leather couch, more... more Leo pictures. And last thing we want to do... I had that Odin statue. Let's put this guy out here. <laughs> Look at this thing. This thing's awesome. Put him right by the house. <laughs> That's awesome. We got an Odin statue. That's cool. shining on on the Odin statue. That thing's really cool. It's even got a raven on his shoulder. <laughs> All right, let's close this up. Let's go inside and get warm. It's almost out of wood already. Alright, what time is it? It's 2 o'clock? I think it's time, it's time to say uh, we're done. So, hoping to be back tomorrow night uh, with, uh, I don't know, maybe Rust, maybe Wildlands. We'll see what's going on. Thank you everybody that came out. Let's get a close up here. Had some fun playing solo tonight. We get, uh, we took down some zombies. We uh, we got some stuff for the house. Drove around for a bit. It was alright. Just, just bombing around, chilling out. Do a little daisy PVE. So, I try to do this every uh, Friday night. We usually have UPM. We sometimes have Turbo Girl. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just good uh, learning learning how to play the game. So one of these days we'll switch over to a PVP server or PVP PVE server and uh, and try to survive a little better against other teams. Um, for that we got to have a couple couple people to play. Uh, so we got a, a little bit of a squad. So, anyways. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for coming out. We'll see you next time. If you're new to the channel, please uh, consider giving us a follow. Also, go check out the YouTube channel. It is posted there on the screen right now. It's uh, uh, youtube.com slash at Caldean. Come by, check that out. Give me a give me a follow over there, too. Um, these Daisy videos are pr posted over there, as well as other ones. And uh, have a great Saturday, guys. We'll see you basically tonight, but 
We'll see you tomorrow night. Bye for now.